Hey everyone, welcome. For my first Elden Ring character, I chose the Wretch class. The idea of starting with almost nothing but just your club as a weapon, a loincloth for fashion, it sounded pretty fun to me. And so the journey began here at Limgrave, the start of my Elden Ring journey. So I was walking around, checking out some stuff, and I see this giant on a giant horse, both with golden plated armor, and little did I know that I would spend hours here, death after death, trying to defeat the tree sentinel at soul level 1 as a wretch. I knew this was open world and that I could come back anytime, but I'm very stubborn with challenges like these, and this was my mission. I have some souls experience with Bloodborne and Dark Souls, but in no way am I an expert. Before this video begins, I'm going to randomly freeze frame parts of the fight and point out certain tips, attacks, and counters. Please keep in mind, this isn't the perfect way to beat this boss, but this is how I did it. And if anyone decides to try beat this boss on foot, this video could hopefully help. So without further ado, let's begin. For phase 1 of this fight, you want to attack the back of the horse or the shield side if you want to play it safe. If you wanted to, you can creep up behind the boss and unleash your strongest attacks. Just remember, when you see the horse stand up, you have 2 seconds until you have to dodge the boss's opening swipe attack. This overhead attack is one of the most frequent moves you'll see throughout the fight. For this phase, you want to counter this attack by rolling to the right and smacking them on the shield side or butt side. Sometimes in this phase, when you hit the shield side of the horse, it'll stand up for a moment and then try trample you. When this happens, you can hold the sprint button and get around to the back of the horse and attack. The swipe attack is also a common move you'll see throughout the fight. In this phase, you can dodge roll forwards, and then that'll set you up for a nice attack on the backside. This is the same overhead attack from earlier, except chained into a two-hit combo. Just make sure to continue running right, or dodge right if you have to, and smack him on the same side. Throughout this fight, make sure you lead the dance and stay in the open area away from the trees, rocks, and bushes just so you don't get stuck and die or you can't see and die. Oh, fuck that. Nope. I'm not down for that rock action. This is the overhead attack's third and final combo attack. If you try counter the second combo, but then notice a third swing, I'm sure you could probably dodge left or right, but I preferred running and dodging away from the attack. In this phase, you can definitely counter attack this move. You will see me counter on the weapon side, and that was a mistake, but if you do, make sure you get out of there right away. This charged attack is very important to learn if you want to beat this boss. When the boss attacks during this charge, you want to counter this by rolling backwards in the direction the horse is going. At the end of the charge, the horse will make a 180 turn and you want to be behind the horse when this happens and you'll have a nice opportunity for a heavy attack. Thank you. 
At around 60% health, the boss will enter phase 2, and you can definitely tell when it does this shield smash. I call this the shield phase because a whole bunch of new shield attacks and counters will destroy you if you are close by. There is this one attack which you may have noticed in my intro, which I call the AOE smash of death, and it just has a crazy range and hitbox, so yeah. I mean, sure, most of these shield attacks can be dodged, but the timing you need is pretty quick, and it is very risky to fight this way. Now that we're in phase 2, forget all the counter attacks I told you about in phase 1. I mean, if you want to still try them out, go for it. I just did not have too much luck. The only counter attack will be the charged attack from the boss. You must still dodge everything throughout the fight, and it's best to keep your range too, so that you could possibly trigger the charged attack. After you dodge the charged attack, it is very important you hit the right side of the horse so that you don't activate any of the crazy shield counters. Oh man, that was kind of close actually. No, I'm not gonna fight near a rock. I'm good. No rocks for me. No, what am I doing? Let's press the wrong button. Oh, shit. I can attack there, but last time I did, yeah, nothing good ever happened. Oh shit, shield side. Shield alert. Shield alert, shield alert. Before the horse does its charge attack, it actually has a audio tell before it does so. In just a moment you will hear the horse neigh before it begins its charge. So although this phase takes much longer, patience is the key. Also one more thing with the charged attack, and that's if you are far away enough, sometimes you don't even have to run too far, and you can just get that heavy attack ready as the horse is turning around.
Oh god, it's not good. Oh. Oh shit! No! 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 Why are you crouching? Sheesh. Get out the corner. Oh, my brain fucked up there. I don't like these rocks. Shit, the rock. Now what are you doing?
Cat, this is the worst time ever. Please. Hours later, and after my 69th death, we finally defeat the Tree Sentinel with a level 1 wretch. If anyone wants to see more Elden Ring, let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh, damn. Oh, man.